Professor Forp here, and I'm going to get right into our lesson today. No going around in circles. But, wait a minute. We are going to go around in circles because today our lesson is about circles. As I said before, I never repeat myself. So, pay attention. Look at that. Here comes a circle now. Yes, here we have a mighty fine circle. Nice and round. And whatever here. This is known as the radius of the circle. It is the distance from the middle of the circle to the outside edge. Every point on the circle is the same distance from the middle. And look at that! What is that line on my circle? Well, it is the diameter. The diameter of a circle is the distance across a circle through the middle. The diameter is the longest distance across a circle. It is always twice the radius. A two times radius equals diameter. So, if the radius of a circle is 3 meters, the diameter is 6 meters. 2 times 3 equals 6. If you take a circle and divide it into 4 equal parts like this, you have 4 right angles. This mark means this is a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. Hello, little fellow. You've seen him before. This little circle stands for degrees. Four 90-degree angles add up to 360 degrees. A circle is 360 degrees. Do you know why circles don't have to go to college? Because they already have so many degrees. Anyway, no matter what size a circle is, it always has 360 degrees, which is a handy number to know. Before you didn't know anything about circles, but you've turned that around 360 degrees. No, wait. That would mean you were back where you started. I guess you turned it around 180 degrees. There you have it. Circles are 360 degrees. They have a radius and a diameter. Until next time, be sure to learn new information daily. Be sure to share and subscribe for more videos that make learning fun.